Uh, Bro Show, we are keeping the name. Bro Show 3, a lot of, lot of tricks up our sleeve this week. What we got, we got obviously Todd McShay, ESPN. Big Cat flew in from Chicago, so a different look. Um, and we've already done some things. You'll see we did a combine, we did a bunch of shit. So we're just going to get going because uh, that's what the Bro Show is. First clip, Kenya High School High Jump Competition was no joke. And let's play it. Now, oh, by the way, we're on the couches, more relaxed. Let's roll. <laughs> right? I mean, that self hug coming up, by the way. <laughs> I love the self hug. Wait a second. Yeah, watch it. Yeah, that's the right form. over the top. There's no flop, there's no back. No. Oh my. It's like the most athletic thing I've ever seen. I'm telling you, man, there's so much talent out there. It's the air up there. Yeah, I was going to say, mean, Kevin Bacon, I, we need to go there and draft the next guy in the NBA. He is agent. High school, by the way. This is a high school. Ezekiel Ansa from Ghana, five years ago, hadn't even heard of football. He didn't know what American football was. Came over to BYU. They had to teach him how to put his pads on. I mean, who well, knows? Uh, what, how high what? is that? Yeah. Thank you. I mean, that like could make four feet. feet. Hold on, I got it. No, well, no, no. no. Taller it could be. People. Oh, yeah. That's that's probably six two. And how about how the about, best part was the self hug? <laughs> self hug is huge. How about the crowd, by the way, in the background for standing room only in Ghana? I'm loving oh, is it Ghana? I mean, Kenya. I'd, I'd show Same up. Same thing. Yeah. All right. So we have that. Um, Honey Badger's tweet game is off the charts. Tyron Matthew. Uh, we have it again. Here we go. Hey, what's up? Hey, nothing much. Thanks for following. Enjoying Arizona. It's pretty hot. It's pretty hot. Laugh out loud. What's your name and age? I know, right? I'm Alex and I'm 17. When do you make 18? I love the game. I love it. Why? Why mess around? Like, it, and you know, I'm kind of that guy with all the pretty girls on my Twitter feed. I mean, I don't want to talk to 17 year olds. It's like the new version of uh, ASL, age, sex, location from from AOL. It's like the tweet game from the the college stars. Yeah. I, I mean, I think the point here though is that. When she turns 18, she's going to hit him up, back up. 100%. So oh. there it is. He just he just put her in the pipeline, basically. I'll stay away from this one for the most part, but at least he asked. <laughs> Good question. Very yeah. responsible. Yeah. Honey Badger is doing it. the right thing. Is, is. is there a chance? He's had, a, he's had enough trouble in his life. <laughs> and I always wonder, this is an honest question, does he know what Twitter is? Like, does he know that everybody can read what he just wrote? Yeah, well, that's well, a direct that, message. That's a direct message. So she released she posted it. that. So that's kind of fucked up. Oh, so that, yeah. that, it's but, like he was doing the right thing behind closed doors in a private conversation. That's taboo. And she put that. That is an asshole move. Yeah, that is a jerk move by her. I didn't know that. This, uh, moving on to the next one. This is amazing. This was maybe for me the most amazing picture of the week. Uh, Hulk Hogan, some a radiator exploded, exploded on his head or radiator. something. Have you seen this? How old is he now? We, oh my. This isn't even the big one. This is the. the wait, what do you mean this is the before? That's not yeah, before. Yeah, that's the before. That's when he grabs it and then he gets them popped. He gets his blisters popped. Okay, so this is before he gets popped. This, yes. But this is after he grabs No, I've seen the radiator. worst picture of his. It's the thumb. flip side of his hand. Oh, <gasps> that's nasty. But we don't even have the best picture the of his thumb. The one that's like looking down and. Yeah. yeah. We'll what have kind to get of that radiator in. was he hanging out around? I don't even understand what. what, what this an exploding is. radiator, what does that even mean? Yeah, and why right. are you grabbing it? And right. It's like. Here's my point with the whole picture. I, I said this before. Vince McMahon is so in my head that I think that this is going to end up being like a Hulk Hogan versus Triple H no oh, hand match. I don't care. And it, no one in the world is more in my head than Vince McMahon. Can we go back to real quick? Oh. What is an exploding radiator? Like, what yeah. is that? I don't know. I, he just grabbed the radiator. And, then and there was an explosion? <laughs> He's Hulk Hogan. Why? He was probably like just yanking it out yeah. of the fucking floor. And when the radiator was broken, and he was like, I'm going to fix this with my bare hands. So it had nothing to do with it. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Else to do. If it you're had, Hulk Hogan, you do Imagine, imagine yeah. him with those blisters. Oh. Did it have anything to I, do? I can't. Why do you keep showing that? <laughs> I mean, that's so dis- That's it's not that unbelievable. Bad. It's what? not that bad? I, that's horrible. That's as bad as something can look. That, but this is this. I what, can't think hey, before. What you just worse. said, though, uh, what you I just said is a is an ongoing KFC radio debate. That's bad. You saying that's not that bad Hold on. is just your stu- for a fact. Right. That no, is no, bad. no, no. Let me. Clarify. That's like steak before you even let throw it on clarify. the grill. It would be bad if that was a random person. That's Hulk Hogan's blood. I'm looking at. I'm okay with that. That's it's Hulk. I don't even understand what you mean. <laughs> No, that's what he does. Exactly. But he that, goes on these rants, nobody knows that. that. I, I don't feel like someone right out now. there would understand yeah. that Hulk Hogan showed me any picture, and I would be like, okay, that's Hulk Hogan. That I'm looked cool like that. the most painful okay. thing of all time. All right, now, 
Obviously, people who read Barstool know this is one of my favorite pet peeve subjects. We were probably talking about this when we had the Power Hour like 10 years ago. Hate LeBron James. He got fined today $5,000 for flopping after saying he doesn't flop, he doesn't know how to flop, he doesn't see the point of flopping, never heard of flopping. And some guys do flop. Some guys do flop, but but he doesn't know how to, not part of his game. And then that night, he does this. He's getting just flooding David West. James just went down as... Double flop call. I mean, it's like, everyone's doing it. It's not even just LeBron. He's the king of it, but... If you play LeBron, you have to flop because you know he's going to flop. I mean, that's an outrageous flop. Which, which did the other guy? Did he triple over his foot? What no. happened? No, it's just a, a, a he got fined five thousand dollars for that. They were touching each other and they both did that. They both just went straight to the ground. Yeah. Now we were. I mean, t- that's that, that's like worse than soccer stuff. That, it is. That's, that's where it's going. That's, that's basically where it's at. Correct. And, and so we were. I was thinking about this. Anyways, he's not even good at it. Like you don't know how to flop. He big. So I'm like this. Yeah, you're like this. You're like this. <laughs> We're coming back. <laughs> Good now. Here's where we're at. Took a quick break on Bro Show. Um, Emily, I said at the top of the hour, she got in a car accident coming over here. So she's at the ho- she's not at the hospital. She's at a police station. We had to put in a call for somebody to rescue us. And thankfully, former intern Gracie Tracy has arrived. She is in the house. And as I said, this is a Wally Pitt type situation. It's a great uh, opportunity. It's exactly what it is. I mean, Joe DiMaggio. Yeah. You sit down for one second, you never got the job back. Never so know. this could be Gracie's job. <laughs> or or, or, or Lou Gehrig. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> Whatever, dude. You're close enough. Um, we got the point. We, yeah, everyone yeah. got the point. So welcome, Gracie. Thank you. Barcelona, New York. Uh, guy driving drunk. Naked chick on top of him having sex. Ends up crashing the car. Tries to flee the scene. Shocking. Tries to flee the scene. There were witnesses who stole his keys. So he's waiting there. <laughs> Apparently shorts on backwards, one shoe, hiding behind a cactus when police show up as the chick who was in the car had been ejected out and was laying on the floor bleeding. <laughs> so not only is this guy driving drunk and having sex, but he lets this poor girl just, lay, I mean, just he, lay there. What about, though, hiding by, like, what's going through your head when you're... Like behind a cactus. He still thinks he's getting away with it. Seventy-five percent of your body is showing behind a cactus. Like, is the cactus just right now? Not to just... mention, there's witnesses. There's the girl bleeding well, out. <laughs> it's like the cops aren't going to find if you. Had I'm pretty so sure. bad that witnesses actually stole your keys. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. Someone actually cares that much to stop and steal your keys. I think the only thing he did wrong was drive drunk. I mean, everything else was fine with me. If you're having, I mean. You know the risks. I mean, right. <laughs> having sex while you're driving, that's, that, I wouldn't do it. Is that against it. the law? I don't know. I wouldn't do it. I mean, it's I can't question. do it. I it's assume. like, don't text It's hard enough to in, in the drive. bedroom for me, so I wouldn't start throwing, you know, cars in there. That's, I, I can't even multitask normally. I can't, I, I, I stop breathing when I'm having sex, let alone right. driving. I mean, <laughs> his mugshot, I'm not quite, his mugshot's like ask. angry. His mugshot. <laughs> pissed yeah, off. Yeah, Casey got out. found behind that cactus. He thought that cactus was going to, He picked the wrong cactus. All right, let's, let's go on. Legit the wobble the best. Strong. So, well, this this is the open challenge, right? This is before that was we, the greatest wobble in the world. Yeah, but before we even you know maybe wobble ourselves, I just want to say that if you have a child and you know that they're not going to be a good athlete, you have to put them in front of a YouTube camera and have them dance around like this, right? And be fat. And be fat. I mean, and the kid's name is Brant. It's like. I don't know. You, you might, might as, well, as well just. You should just have the camera rolling right. twenty four hours as, as soon as you have. A kid. That doesn't right. you work never know. if it's not a fat kid. But no, no, absolutely not. And and if he's not dressed in a ridiculous like a old man with, sweater with no pants, with no pants, pants on. The whole thing is perfect. Do you guys? I've never heard of the wobble. Neither have I. That was yeah. my first wobble experience. No, you said you have heard of the wobble. Yeah. So that's the beauty of having you show up because this this subject doesn't work without having. Yeah, somebody you can't to say wobble. it's the best wobble because you had you. Mentioned it's the best wobble in the world. Do you need? But wobble? you didn't even know what the wobble. I is. didn't know. No, I didn't write. I, that I oh, said it was the best did. wobble in the world. I'd never seen the wobble, and I'm 
pretty confident saying that. Just seeing it's his still wobble. The best do you need yeah. wobble music to wobble? How do you know it's the wobble? wobble music? music? I don't. I I don't know. Did you we'll look find, up what? We'll find out. what Grant does the wobble. Okay. All right. We'll get it. There, these are different wobbles we're looking Grant at. Grant booty shaking was not something yeah. I needed. So. Grant just got with no, maybe a diaper on or something. Grant Whatever's just got on. knocked down to a three. I think it comes down to like when they run a uh, road race and there's like the master division and then you know the you know forty year old division and everything. They do it by age group. It's Grant won the like five and under group. <laughs> Gracie won the hot girl. High school coach fired because his team was losing 8-1. This team's losing 8-1. Losing 8-1. Yeah. Okay. The other team squeezes on him to try to get to make it 9-1. to one. Which Next is, is, is Bush. Bush. Yeah, like all-time Bush. Bush is Bush's comes. Yeah. Next kid hits him in the elbow. Should have. Coach gets fired. The coach Wasn't who, there also a uh, stealing of like two straight the, pitches? Yes, yeah, and, and after third. after the suicide, the kid, it actually, they got nobody out on the suicide. So I, what is your other option? Besides hitting the kid, you have no option. You have no other option. I don't even think the coach had to say something to the, I, that, the pitcher. If I'm pitching and the, we're down eight, we're down eight one, and you just squeeze for a run, I'm definitely hitting. Yeah, him. and the worst part is the other coach w was ranting and raving about how bad the sportsmanship was on the team that got hit. It's baseball, bro. It's it's, it's sports. It's competition. And I don't believe in a lot of the unwritten like if yeah. I, when someone hits a home run and they like beam you, it's because they didn't like how you ran around the bases. Get them out. Like I don't care about. But that. I also don't like the whole idea that like you should take it easy. Like if you want to no. squeeze, go ahead. But then you're gonna get one right. in the ear hole. Right. It, it's you're, oh, no. you're, if you want to score runs, great. If you're up eight one, but if you want to. It's, it's a it's squeezing a is lame. They were going for and a ten run rule, which ends the game. The other okay. the All other right. pitcher said the other coach said we have a tough week. I want to save my pitching okay. staff. Okay, okay, but that's still but embarrassing. Then you're, but you're still, but yeah, you're then still you run the risk. Get hit. Yeah, 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 right. Yeah, okay. right. It, to me, that's at least there's said. a reason. Then it, it, it's wash your hands. You did that. You got beamed. Right. Nobody can say yeah, a word. Okay. Or even let's move on. Right. But coach got fired. Come on, cell phone. This is it's gotta be my dad. Answer it. No, it is. It's my dad. It, it, it's got it on camera. Uh, I, I should have. I didn't. I That's just really your ringtone, huh? That's called after Keyshawn Johnson chases down Justin Bieber in his Prius and confronts him about his dangerous driving in his Ferrari. This, I, I'm going to jump right into what my favorite part of it. It's not Keyshawn. It, it's Eric Dickerson coming out of the weeds, throwing haymakers at Bieber. Bro, the story is not about you, Eric Dickerson. Why are you even involved? He tweeted out, I live in that neighborhood, slow down, Bieber. And then yesterday he tweets, I had a white Ferrari too, yeah. Bieber, and then puts the picture of it. Who cares, Eric Dickerson? You didn't drive fast? The only thing that amazed me, I love the the Woody in the back that he's got there. I don't know where that car is from, <laughs> but that know. is an and, awesome car. And it looks like he's got a, a wooden board yeah, yeah, yeah. on top of it. Yeah, right? yeah. He's got a surfboard. He's yeah. a surfer. That's pretty sad. Charles Xavier never had a slice of pizza, and apparently just ate his first slice. He's a Brooklyn guy, actually. He and like all these nerds. Is, I was gonna say, where's he from? He's in, oh, I don't know. He's, he's from he's in England, from, but he's yeah, he's oh, okay. uh, lives in Park Slope, Brooklyn. And all these like nerds follow him around because of Star Trek, <laughs> and they like they'll, they'll, they'll like take pictures of him, like oh Patrick Stewart's at the the fucking pizzeria. Here we go. <laughs> they love him. They follow him all over Brooklyn. So has nobody come up? Come out and said. I mean, is this true? Is anyone think he's he, lying? He tweeted, I think, taking a picture like this is my first slice. Yes. That'd be a Which weird thing insane. to lie about, right? Absolutely but insane, though. I yeah, I think that they don't have pizza in England. Is that true? I think they just eat potatoes and meat. I, I think that's you're, it. I think that's insane. <laughs> you think I'm being a simpleton? Uh, he also absolutely has lived in Brooklyn. Absolutely. I've had a piece of pizza in London. There, it's probably so, not very so good. You, check just, that you, off. you just got disproved <laughs> yeah. by Gracie. I yeah. still, I, unless I see it. It's like, remember Carl Everett? You're like Carl Everett. Yeah, believe, you're Carl Everett. <laughs> he you didn't don't believe, believe dinosaurs. Yeah, he didn't, because see because him. didn't see it. Well, I don't see a piece of pizza in England. I don't believe it. Okay. it, it yes. That's ridiculous. I like how you jumped in there, too. I did too. A plus. Right. I needed You're to not going to know what this next one is, though, so I get to announce the it's next one. It's stool time. It's stool time, which I know this is going to be the highlight of the whole thing. The three of us went down to a field. We did the NFL Combine. Um, well, you'll just you'll be able to watch. I've been here yourself. for seven hours. I've been hijacked. <laughs> <laughs> we kidnapped our friends, Todd McShay. Our today. friends, Todd, our friends come on, ahead, like coach of this baseball team, and the game is about to end. 
I'm still here. It's unbelievable. It, it, you put in a heroic this effort. This is what right? happens when you book your own you book your own stuff with a buddy. <laughs> yeah. No, you you did. You got that's a fair way you're being held hostage. Like, they'll be next. So we're down at the park. We got obviously ESPN Todd McShay, draft expert. So we're gonna do the Barcelona Combine. Um, I think we're doing three cone drill, the 40 quarterback throws, and broad jump. And we're gonna see how we stack up if we're entering the NFL draft. Did you get that outfit? This is the official, the official draft outfit of the uh, oh NFL Combine. Can you please wear the, the Barcelona shorts? <laughs> we are. Uh, it's kind of uncomfortable. So we're ready to go. So let's set it up and do the. All right. So the three course. cone is five yards, five yards, five yards, five yards. It's about a lower body explosion at first, bounding out, bounding back, and then about body control and speed. Mostly body control and then the lower body explosiveness. There's a chance I might explode in my pants. Yeah, I, I, the key is let's do this one first, get it out of the way, then the broad jump. I don't want anyone pulling a hamstring before we go run the 40, because I think at least one Achilles or hamstring is going to go down. Absolutely. So, 95 degrees, I'm running on two donuts and about 12 Cheez-Its, and nobody has any water out here. I'm trying to get on Todd McShay's 2014 <laughs> big board, so I don't know why you guys think you're Last time I was at this field, blew out the hammy, so I've taken my stretching way more seriously this time. So you, he, for everyone who's watching at home, he stretched for maybe 90 seconds. I can still feel how tight my legs are when I stretch. That's what makes, makes me nervous. It like, feels like they're being pulled when I stretch. I don't think Clancy is. Big Cat, do you do Pilates? Yes, Big Cat's right? the That's biggest the speed, fucking recreational right? hardo in the game. TJ Moe, the wide do? receiver from Missouri, ran a 6.53. That was the fastest at this year's conference. Do you have the slowest? slowest? Menelik Watson, offensive tackle, like 310 pounds from Florida State, ran an 8.31. Did we get heights and weights on you guys yet? Not yet. I'm 5'10, probably 205. <laughs> I'm 6'2, probably 210. I'm like 5'11, God knows what. Buck 90, buck 95. I'm gonna say this right now, I don't have a lot of fast twitch muscles. So you go on me. Whenever I'm ready, right? Right? Alright. <laughs> what, what? 865. Oh! oh. 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 oh that, that's, that's slower. slower. That's slower. Oh. 831. It's all about cutting, you can't explode. That's very close. Cool. I'm in the offensive lineman category. What, what did you get? You said you were tight end. I'm wherever. It's yeah, the first athletic good. thing I've done in about two and a half years. <laughs> Ready? This is slow. <laughs> this is real slow. It's just, it's just too slow. That's <laughs> 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 a slow one. I mean, <laughs> what was that? Nine, four, zero. <laughs> we'll talk effort. about that when we, when we evaluate everything you do. He quit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Don't come around too Does the cone count? Okay, so oh. What was the time? Well, that end you have to finish. What was my time? I don't really know. No idea what my time was? No. Oh. Now, when I see you not finish, I exit. And, and putting a sock in your you chose, you chose. in your spandex and not on very positive. Big strides. Oh, oh big corner. <laughs> Hit that last turn. Woo! Well. Hit that last turn well. Good time. What? what did you know, great. Yeah. You want to put on the cleats? You gotta stay low. I know it doesn't feel comfortable. You've got to get your hand too high. It's, it should be two steps bound and then bound. So back. that's how you do it, but I can't get there. I got little legs. I did it. I did it. Wow, you killed it. It's a good time. Seven, six, nine. Wow. He kicked over every cone.
first man to he, break he went, eight. He got around him, though. But that one, too? Yeah, he got around it. I watched. Oh, he my get around God. Him. First drill, right here. I'm the boss and the most athletic. Booyah, you all saw it, roll that dice, boom, face you. Go over every cone. Don't be an, don't be an asterisk. <laughs> this could be a good one. This could be a good one. Drawn. Seven, two, eight. Is that Woo. better? No. That's, that's not better? No, 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 no. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah baby. It's like seven, nine, right? We can seven, two, eight. All day. I didn't oh, kick God. over any cones. I did on the new cone. You're supposed to kick over. You moved all the cones because then you got a fast time. You're supposed to kick. It's like when you're I did it on the same track and I got yeah, better time. Yeah. Yeah. So now we do broad jump, right? Yep. Where do you want to jump? I think like it's good for it. It's okay. one oh big cat. It's two feet standing, and you, when you land, you got to plant it. You got to plant it. You, gotta plant it. you can't heels pull it forward it. or back. Or it heels doesn't or toes. Count. Right, you got to plant it. Tell that to him. Buy your heels. Buy your heels. Oak leads. I, I feel jump like I'm two hit. feet. I'm a two foot jumper, so this is in my wheelhouse. I don't jump off the one. Ah! <laughs> oh, I stuck that. I'm up. No. <laughs> it wasn't even close. Oh, stuck that. You had I stuck that as you're falling <laughs> ten yards back. You might get an extra like Four. three inches if you take the sock out. <laughs> you know what? I'm too tight. I got no idea how to pull it. I have. Oh. Call it 83. It's showing improvement in everything you've done. That's all I'm trying to do. He's lifting Heel up down. his Heel down. Heel down. Heel down. Heel down. Get it all the way down. down. It's not <laughs> down. It's not down. Get yeah. that down. <laughs> Get down. Yeah, down. Yes. <laughs> Real interesting scoring right there. The heel is down. This is like superstars. It comes down to the 40, and I'm out of gas. Dude, let's jump. This is hard. Everything's hard. My shins reverberate. Reverberate. Yeah, that was just. That was just a lazy effort. What, what do you think of this year's draft class so far? These three? Yes. I think they're a disaster. I think they talk a lot. I think at least one of these three, unfortunately, is going to wind up calling something. This was always your event anyways coming up. Exactly. The 40. You think I'm joking right now? No. My legs are jello. I have no chance to run this. I shouldn't even run it. Like, I may advise against KFC running it because he hasn't done anything. Big Cat, like, does shit, so he's probably not phased. But my legs right now are jello. Have them come to your pro day instead? Well, this is just something that people don't see every day behind the camera. I'm being a hero right now. Like, in not exaggerating, not trying to be like, oh, I'm El Prez. No, this is Dave Fortnoy saying right now, I'm being a hero by doing this for you. This, I can feel it all the way up through my brain. This is where somebody could be severely injured. Yeah. If, it's, listen, it's I'll, I'll tell you this. The if there's any sign of anything going, but I'm I shut it down. But when I went, I was good, 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 and, and then it, it was like getting shot. Is it a bad Six. sign if your nose is just starts running because you're just like physically breaking down? You guys want the times? Yeah. yeah. Marquise Goodwin from Texas ran a 427. Mark Jackson, 6'5, 328 pounds from Glenville State, ran a 565. Six two three. I'll take it, baby. It seemed a lot slower. That may have been a. Yeah, it is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> he made error. He may have gotten away with the one. Human error. Incredible speed. Yeah, I don't know. That seemed like seven and a half. It was a very interesting technique. Just started sideways and then started running. <laughs> so it could have been like you know I could have been sub yeah. sub six. Clean up the technique. Who knows? You might you might be a burner and you just never I knew think it. I might be able to... Clearly, this is based on reputation. I know I'm not the most athletic guy. I know I eat my donuts, 
I know I don't work out a lot, but if the man runs a 623 and the stopwatch says 623, then he ran a 623. I can't feel my legs, like dead sick. Well, 623 is the number to beat. 623 is 623. Oh, my legs. This has to be. It's up six, right? Five something? Five, six, eight. What is it? Five, six, eight. We gotta be running a 30 yard dash here. Yeah, yeah, we do. I agree. Yeah, but I looked, did I look like I was fine? No, you looked so slow, I was embarrassed for you. It looks slower than me. Somehow it beat me. I just hope for your sake it doesn't look as slow on TV as it I did in person. I can't feel my legs. You're, was... You had the shortest strides I've ever seen. They were like this. <laughs> you were like, you, were like, you this literally dude. had two, like, sausage. <laughs> no, no offense. That's sausage like, legs. But, 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 no, no offense. That's sausage. It was like but, speed but, walking. But, but honestly, not joking, being, like, dead serious, talking scout to scout, wouldn't that... If you're a running back, don't you want those type of strides? Good luck knocking that bowling ball off its feet. This is the fastest of the three. Five, six, two. What? Five, six, two. What did I get? Five, six, eight. It's very close. Woo! Wow. That means they got to run it again. I have no. Smashed it. Five four seven. Does that beat me? Five six yeah. seven. What? Five four seven. I can feel it. <laughs> well, you, you, at thirty five yards, you said smashed it. I knew I had it. That lost you at least tenth of a second. <laughs> yeah, just say smash it. That's what makes me such a great athlete. I make it look so fucking easy. It's like that guy's not moving. Yeah, he is. He's fucking flying. That's what they said about Eric Dickerson. Eric Dickerson has never been more insulting. You never catch me in the big. I'm putting together. Dave, you're, you're a 205 pound running back that just ran a 5.68. You're strong. 5.50. Combine champion. I just gotta say, I knew it. It's it, that's when you have all the pieces added up. When you're the boss, the most athletic, <laughs> best looking, full package. Wait a second. Yeah. Did Cat won the three cone? No, he didn't. He, that yes, was his I third did. Score. Was, it depends on if we're counting that third. That, that score you, should you count. Clearly, we'll go back on the table. You hit your first two scores that count. You moved that. all the cones. I mean, I only lost by a jump by one inch. I could have kept jumping. I only lost this by a, a no, fraction. No, you got of hammered in this. It's what I said. I, I don't know if you caught that over there. You see me running those those ridiculous. short choppy steps. Is it a Mack truck? Is it a Lamborghini? It's both. That's what makes me special. Hold on. Let me ask you a question though. You said you can't knock over any cones. He knocked over two cones in the last season. You, can you, you have to get around them. I got around it. They're like hot and we have bad so cones. Sure. He moved the cones. We have the tape. He moved the cones after he knocked them over the first time. And then when he when we did the new course, I beat him. I mean, for you guys to decide, I just I just give the results. So, this is this uh, my agent set this up, he'd be fired. Portnoy just lied about everything today. It's supposed to be inside, temperature cool. Um, all right, Portnoy. I didn't. I didn't appreciate the. Didn't appreciate the. Um, the extra curricular dress. You know, stuffing a sock in places that socks don't belong. Didn't like the way he looked. With 5'10", 205 pounds, ran a seven six nine in the three cone. Might have been the fastest. There's a discrepancy because Big Cat did run a third one at 7.28. Broad jump was 82 inches, just one inch shy of the of the broad jump of Big Cat, and then he had ran the fastest 40. The second 40 was a 5.47. So, you know, he could probably argue he won the combine with Big Cat. It wasn't for that third one that he ran in the, in the three cone. He would he would have only won the broad jump with 83 inches. But if you're if you're in Big Cat's corner, you're arguing that. That that third one should count because there was an adjustment on the cone. Can I just interrupt one thing quick? There's, no, he's 36. I'm 36. He's 28. Just keep that in mind. That is uh, that that's interesting. That means that I'm I'm higher drafted. You can't well, no, that means I uh, to me, Big Cat has a longer career ahead of him. Yep. Uh, he ran a 5.50 in the 40. Not all of these guys ran decent 40 times. I was surprised. KFC, he showed up. He showed up. 
He did everything he was supposed to do, just didn't do it fast or, or long. He ran a, I mean, these are not good times. He's 192 pounds. He ran a 10-9-1 in the three cone. 69 inch broad jump was his best, and then a 6-2-3 in the 40, which I wanted to dispute because I thought there was something wrong with the time. He looked like a 75, but again, he showed up. The uh, most important ability is availability, and KFC was available today. This is a big one. <laughs> Amanda Bynes. Yeah, and that's really all you have to say. Is there anything else? Prancer size, yes, oh. this bitch is serious. This is, let's watch the video, and then we're gonna do American American Idol style. This is real, by the way. Hello, I'm Joanna This is a, a mental a wellness video. LLC. This, she I'm wants you to do this to show you the four most good prancer size. Yeah. I've got my ankle weights in place, and my music's ready. So let's stop talking and do some walking. I was Prince hanging size. around <laughs> Dude, yeah. to watch that. I can't even talk now after this. Because you told me, hey, just hang around for the prancer size because I want, you want me to grade you prancer sizing? Is that right? All right. We'll, we'll we got quick prancer One at a time, one at a time. So, just kind of like come down the... Yeah, you sit in my seat, Gracie. Okay. This is so, American Idol style. Do you have this on camera? Yeah. She you can, you can grade them. Come on the diagonals. Like gymnastics. You know that's... <laughs> was that it? Was, was... I, I, that was my friend. Oh, sales guy. <laughs> <laughs> he showed up. With the he didn't know we were prancer size. What, what did he do? He's going to get pizza. I guarantee it. I guarantee he's getting food. I'm fucking hungry, so that works. That's what he does, though. It's In like the middle he, of the he show. just leaves. He's angry prancer size right now. All right, prancer angry, size it. Yeah, sales guy who's supposed to be filming this. So if we miss shots, apparently I said this in the beginning of the show. He. When you need him the most, he disappears so to go get food. He's, he's just gone? Inside. The guy he's who was filming yeah. the show? Yes, yeah. the guy who <laughs> He just show got up gone. and left. It's gone. Yeah, I, we had the conversation before you got here. Because there he, he is in the pizza! Right on cue. People think I'm nuts. No, you're not. Not People this time. Nuts. People think I'm nuts. This is my angry <laughs> prison. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Tampa Bay Devil Rays player Josh Sale suspended for tweeting about ki getting kicked out of a strip club for throwing quarters at strippers. I'm going to jump in. I think you have to be the biggest scumbag basically in the world to throw quarters at a stripper. The most demeaning thing I think I've ever heard in my life. I would say to deal with change in general. Strippers, not strippers. This this is, just, that's actually the first thing you've said all day that I agree with. Yeah. <laughs> change in general yeah, is just, just demeaning. I like, you know. In the pocket, yeah. throw it in a bowl somewhere, and maybe like. I mean, right. like, 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 put it into cash later. Like, 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 <laughs> not what I'm saying. I'm poor, and I'm saying throw it and then bring it down to the, the grocery store right. that you can dump it all in and then get cash out later. Yeah, exactly. coins, I am not into coins. Individual, not like this is going to be an ongoing theme now at Barstool. You, I've done it, Big Cass done it, you okay. still got to do it. Strike three calls. I feel like you can tell a lot about a person by how they ring somebody up. So every time we have a guest, we're gonna ask them for no practice, just ring somebody up the best he can. We had Todd do it, he leads it off. So here's Todd's, uh, Todd McShay's strike three call. <laughs> the Tim McClellan, the delay. That's one strike. The delay. Oh, that one's no, 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 strike. That was a strike. That was a strike. Oh, I, I couldn't tell you what was happening with that. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's it. All right. All right, there it is. And then, can that, I come out of it? Can I explain what happened? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, all right. Well, as you saw in the video, the first, I want to get a strike first. You know, and I, I thought the pitch was a ball. I looked down, you did a heck of a job framing it. Yep. So I, I was late, I just gave the the first one. So the first one was just a, a strike, but way late. It's horrible. The second one was the real one. Uh, and I feel like 
I actually not only did I frame it, I gave you a look back. I honestly didn't know what you. Yeah, were you doing. were waiting for me I to mean, do something. Yeah. Put it this way: I was like five minutes late on the call. <laughs> if I'm in the box, I'm getting kicked out of that game. I'm, I mean, <laughs> I have to kick you out because you're going to. I'm going to show you up. But at the end of the game, I'm going to come into the locker room and be like, I shouldn't. have That kicked. was on yeah. me. That yeah. was on me. Yeah, because that was a minute and a half late. Yeah. All right. I was just getting my strike. I like the passionate punch out though. Yeah, it's a lot of. I was just so happy to get off the field after seven hours of. Watching it was a long yeah, ass yeah. day. Just wobble your way out of here, Tom. Wobble your way out of here. In this go. Oh, perfect. 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 Perf